People should decide to have lots of children or no children if they want to. The problem is when you marry demographic change to welfare states that were created with the assumption that there would always be population pyramids, the, 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 our evolution to societies that have population cylinders is a crisis. And if you look at what's going to happen in Europe, uh, we've already seen in 2000 and what, 2009, Greece had a fiscal crisis. Greece was a relatively small economy. Greece could be bailed out, and it was bailed out. They, they sort of lost their fiscal sovereignty. The European Commission was making choices for them as well as the IMF, but Greece could be bailed out. Italy is on the verge of having a fiscal crisis. As a matter of fact, I think they would already be in a fiscal crisis if it wasn't for the fact that the European Central Bank is basically buying up Italian government debt and monetizing uh, the, uh, it, uh, Italy's government spending. Well, what happens when the European Central Bank eventually decides we can't keep that going any longer? Will the people, will investors around the world say, oh, I trust the Italian government, I'm going to continue to buy their debt? I don't think so. And Italy is the third biggest debt market in the world. Now, they're not the third biggest economy in the world, they're only like the eighth biggest economy, but it's a big economy with a huge multi-trillion dollar uh, amount of debt that's hanging out there. And if the IMF isn't going to bail them out, if the European Central Bank isn't going to bail them out, who's going to bail them out? Nobody. And what does that mean? It means a fiscal catastrophe in Italy. Because all of a sudden, overnight, nobody's going to be willing to buy their debt. Their interest rates are going to skyrocket. Uh, Italy, and this actually would be a good thing, they'd be forced to go to a balanced budget overnight because they wouldn't be able to, to borrow any money. They don't have their own printing press because they're part of the euro, so they can't just print their way into financing their government budget. So Italy, right now, is being kept on life support by the European Central Bank. When that stops, Italy, if it stops, I mean, I suppose the European Central Bank can, can continue it forever, but at some point that blows up. And the more you blow the bubble up, the worse it is when it finally explodes. So, so I don't think it's in the, in the best interest of Europe to continue it, but I guess if you're Christine Lagarde, the uh, head of the European Central Bank, you probably think, well, I'll just continue to go on this current path because maybe by the time Italy blows up, I'll be out of office and somebody else will be there to take the blame.